Oh, buddy, Andy here again. Well, I posted a really, uh, video very recently about not quite knowing what to do with my life, even as I've got to this sort of ripe old age. And one of the reasons being, as I mentioned in there, is the fact that I've got lots of interests, lots of things that I dabble in, lots of things I'd like to get interested in, etc., and can't pin myself down. But a couple of other things that have come out of that, and the topic I meant to talk about before was having someone to talk to, um, and having someone to talk to who's on the same sort of wavelength as what you are. Um, and I sort of, sort of suddenly realised, thinking about that video and the comments I've had and maybe little conversations and then uh, uh, meeting somebody the other day, I had a, 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 a beer with a, a friend of mine, a younger, younger person, uh, and we had a couple of beers and we were chatting and I hadn't seen the person for a while and they had to say, oh, you know, I miss these little chats that we have because we talk about music and we talk about all that stuff, but we talk about other sort of deeper things or go into it, the sort of topics in a deeper way. And it's nice to have people that you can do that with and I'm not sure that everybody's got that I suppose it depends on the interest that you have and how deeply you might think about things I think about things quite deeply in lots of ways and it suddenly struck me that there are probably very few people who actually understand me who actually know what I'm really like and what I'm really interested in the obvious person who probably knows more about me and my interests and likes and dislikes etc uh, is my wife. Um, fun that we were talking about this yesterday in a way because we were watching a program that my wife had uh, recorded. It's the Empire program, which uh, Jeremy Paxton's been doing. I hadn't seen the first one, but we were watching that and it was all talking about India and talking about the creation of the State of Israel and Palestine and all these type of things. But so talking about this and then sort of diverting off the topic and think, yeah, well, you know, she's got, oh, I quite like anthropology and all this type of thing. And that's something that's always fascinated me as well. And I've always wanted to get into ancient civilizations, not Egypt, but going back further than that, Mesopotamia and all, you know, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon and all those Sumerians and, you know, where civilization started. Never got around to it. See, there's another one. <laughs> so who's going to talk to me about that? But not long ago, I met up with an old work colleague. And uh, we sat down and we were talking about stuff that we, you know, were involved with. And we were talking about social networking, we were talking about the internet, we were talking about music and all this. And we were diverging off and we started talking about anthropology, we started talking about history, we started talking about genetics and DNA and all that type of thing. And Bob, Bob's wife, had to come in with a cup of tea and she said, oh, this is great. She said, Bob, you've actually got someone you can talk to. <laughs> <laughs> who understands what you're talking about and you can let yourself go um, and that can't be easy can it for lots of people you know I'm not saying there's any conflict in that household at all but it's nice to have someone that you can actually sit down and talk to on the same wavelength because we've probably got people you know I, I like to get in there and get down to the nitty gritty and have long flowing conversations over a cup of tea or a beer or something but sometimes when you start launching into you know your little bits because I do like to talk as you might have noticed um, and some people, you can see, they're not really there. They're thinking, oh, God, what's he on about now? You get to a certain level, and the, the deeper you get into a conversation, the person just starts nodding or just saying yes every so often or shaking their head every so often. You think, and you suddenly come to a realisation, Andy, you've lost this person, this person <laughs> you think might be into this particular topic, but maybe not quite the way that you are. My daughter was teasing me the other day because uh, she just started this sort of work placement type of thing. And there's a guy <laughs> that she works with, a uh, younger person than me. And she said, he can be a bit infuriating. He's great in some ways. She said, but he's just like you, Dad. He's like Wikipedia. I ask him a subject, I ask him a question about something. And then he goes off onto this big, long explanation, which I did with my daughter the other day. And Nelson Mandela had been into hospital briefly the other week. And she said, happened to say quite innocently, you know, sort of, well, you know, which one's he? Is he the one in South Africa? And who's the one that was in America and this type of So obviously I, I went into, you know, all about Nelson Mandela and his struggle and the struggle for apartheid and then on to Martin Luther King and then both being inspired by Gandhi. And she said, Dad, I just wanted to know about Nelson Mandela. I didn't really want to know about all the rest of it. But oh, it's quite interesting in its own way. But one of the things that made, did make me think about it, having watched a video the other day about why people why people vlog, and it struck me that, that maybe that's one of the reasons that I do this, because I can talk at length to myself, in effect, and hope that it might connect with somebody else out there. I haven't got to worry about whether I'm boring anyone, because if I am, they probably you've, you've turned off by now. You won't be seeing this bit. You've already said, oh, God, this video is far longer than three minutes or something. What on earth are you talking about? But if you are interested, you know, there you are. I might strike a chord with someone, and someone might say, yeah, that's what I'm like, and some 
some people, I know some people like to listen to this sort of rubbish that I spell every so often. But um, I think I've put up sort of over 700 odd videos now. A phenomenal amount as far as I'm concerned. Um, yes, they're not all about particular topics. They're not all me talking. There's you know, other bits and pieces I do. But a very fair proportion of those, and therefore quite a few hundreds of videos, have been just me talking about stuff. And I think that that is... One reason that I do this, I like to communicate. I think of myself as maybe it's a little bit of a communicator in some ways, I'm doing a bit of radio and you know comparing and all that sort of stuff as well, um, and maybe getting thoughts and things out there. But maybe that's my way of doing it. Maybe not having anybody else on the same wavelength, except for my wife, but she doesn't want to you know get involved in all these things in quite the same detail that I do. I understand that totally. You obviously you have your own interests, and you know she's more interested in certain things. I'm more interested in certain things but there's things that I'm interested in she's not bothered about at all and I like to explore you know just about everything I'll, I'll read just about anything and sort of soak things up a bit like a sponge so having this means that I can read something come across a conversation like I've had with those people I've just been talking about and then talk about it like this and I haven't got to worry that I'm boring anybody I can be doing this just for myself or to anybody else who might be out there who may well be interested I'd love to know whether you feel the same maybe that's one of the reasons you go onto YouTube to watch people like that as well I do the same thing I see people and you connect with people that's one of the great things about this is you don't have to be alone now if you haven't got that person to talk to it doesn't matter you can talk to the world or even just to a camera and maybe there'll be someone out there who will latch onto it, be interested in what you're doing, subscribe, watch your videos, comment on your videos or whatever, make responses or whatever it might be and it makes you feel a little bit better as well. You've got it out there, you've made yourself feel a little bit better and you found someone to talk to even if it is just a little green dot up there on the top of the computer. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it there. Let me know who your person is or if you've got someone maybe you haven't and all those funny interests that you might have that no one else seems to be interested in anyway thanks for time i'll speak to you again soon goodbye